Hey everybody, welcome to week 18. First up, um, we've got my pop and swap techno from Where's the T. Uh, nothing really to this shot. In fact, it was just sitting in front of a monitor, and that's the idle screen uh, behind it. But I just kind of wanted to share it. It was something I was working on. Um, I really like that Origins have like all those different parts that you can just kind of pop and swap. Um, and... I didn't really know about Forza T when it was coming out, um, but it was something I discovered later when I was getting back into Masters, and I liked the design of the character. I mean, it was just parts reused, but uh, I think he looks kind of cool. So there's the initial version of him, and then you'll see um, some more of him. This was uh, after painting um, a little bit. Uh, the eyes are actually a glow-in-the-dark paint. Um, I'll go in and like put a little black line around it. Um, you'll see in a second. Uh, but this was painted with nail polish. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, <laughs> really, I'd never painted a figure before. Um, and I've used nail polish a lot, um, cause I used to work in activities at a nursing home and I did a lot of painting the old lady's nails. So I felt fairly proficient painting with nail polish so he got a nail polish treatment um you'll see some more of that in a little bit um and then up next we got air Theer. um i thought it'd be kind of cool to have him like invading um eternia because at this point most of my toys are uh masters of the universe and most of my shelves look like they're little pieces of eternia and I was starting to get into uh, the Four Horsemen and the Mythic Legions. So, yeah. Um, kind of cool. Just took, um, I wish I remember the artist's name, but I just took like a picture of uh, Grayskull. You can see Battle Cat's helmet's kind of over here. But, I don't know. It just kind of looked kind of cool. So, I took it and I put him there. And I really like this figure. Um, him and his horse. Uh, really cool. Um yeah, not a whole lot to the shot, but conceptually I thought it was cool. I really dig this um, flame effect they gave him and just how he looks, his design. And then he's the horseman of war, so I like the concept of the horseman in uh, Mythic Legion. That was one of the big things that sold me on it. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Up next, we are back to my custom techno. You can see I put those black lines. You can see a little bit of the glow in the dark going on there. Um, it was, um, I mean, it's not perfect, but uh, that's techno from Where's the T. And then there's another shot of them. You see it's a little blotchy in spots. Like I said, I'd never painted a figure before, but... I think he came out pretty cool. I still dig him. Um, they gave him Mechanex neck there just to kind of, you know, give him a little more techno y stuff. Uh, nothing really to these pictures. I just kind of was showing off, like, the custom I was working on. And then up next. So, uh, I don't really collect um, G.I. Joe or Transformers, but the idea of both of them together is pretty appealing to me um i think if they would take a little more time and effort on this line um could be one of the greatest toy lines in all history but unfortunately that's not the case the price tag is quite a bit while the vehicle modes are pretty cool i find that the robots themselves feel pretty cheap and the uh joe figures uh feel a little cheap too which is unfortunate but you know, there's Megatron and Baroness. Um, I'm just kind of taking a shot of them. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting. Um, and then this is going to lead us into a little streak of green because it was Toy Merc's, um, their collab um, that week was green stuff. So I took another picture of my Castle Grayskull with the glowing green. Again, there's like a salt lamp in here, and then there's some green um, tissue paper to kind of block off um, parts of it and kind of direct some of the light. Um, you can see it's actually folding out a little bit there. I wish I would have tucked that back up um, properly, but what can you do? That's how the shot turned out. Um, yeah, I um, 
this great like the vintage gray skull is a masterpiece and uh having it lit up is uh pretty cool i have that on my shelf like that and i basically just convert it into a lamp because i don't have all the parts that go inside i have like uh the floors and the uh throne but a lot of the other stuff is missing so it got turned into like a little mini lamp on my display um, up next on the green streak, you got Link versus a green slime. Um, background is just a uh, battle mountain. There's tapestry. Tapestry is folded down to have like a little bit of texture on the bottom so that it didn't just look like blank shelf. Um, this Link is a knockoff of the Figma. And in fact, it broke as soon as I took it out of the package. So buyer beware on AliExpress. You can get a lot of good stuff from them, but if you see a toy that's like, hey, that's a really good price, you're getting junk, just so you know. Um, anyway, I just took a couple of green characters, threw them together, uh, got a little black star demon hanging up at the top. Um, up next, this is uh, one of the earlier dios I've done, uh, showed it off a little bit, but evil seed and then you got his tree back here and i put a bunch of like the mega constructs and the dollar store minifigs um throughout the tree um like kind of sucking the life energy out of those guys and then a couple little princess mononoke forest spirits just because why not they're cool so i threw them in there um i actually have like a ton of those little guys um i should set them up more um when I'm using the jungle dio, but I put them away and I kind of haven't busted them back out in a while. Um, and then up next, another one of the green shots. I just took a bunch of characters that were green. So you got uh, turtles, obviously, and then you got, um, oh, I can't remember her name, but the chick from Vox Machina, green slime again. Another Black Star Demon. You got this dude from Dungeons and Dragons, Evil Seed, Moss Man, Bryophytus, Whiplash, Battle Cat, Green Goddess, Link, and uh, oh shoot, um, Camelcon. My brain is just not working today. And then you got the dwarf from Golden Axe. Um, yeah, just kind of throwing them all together. Um, there's a couple other characters I could have thrown in there, but I was already a little limited on space, so... I don't know. Um, sometimes trying to fit into a theme doesn't really produce the best results. Sometimes it can make you uh, do things you wouldn't have done, uh, which is kind of cool, but every once in a while you just brain fart and throw a bunch of characters together, so that's what I did there. Um, you can see this is... Um, my main photography shelf, you got tapestries in the back, uh, the battle mounds get rearranged, uh, but it hasn't quite hit the point where it is now, where it's like completely covered, there's like sky up here now, and there's grass down here, um, you'll see it evolve as time goes on, but this is when it's still in its pretty early basic stages, um, just trying to actually have backgrounds on all my shots, but I did not have enough tapestries to go all the way and you can still see this shelf um which actually i didn't put the sky up on the shelf uh, for quite some time so like i said you'll see it evolve uh this is in its uh pretty basic form but it gets pretty cool pretty excited with it now um if you do want to see it there's a reel on my instagram that you can check out or you can watch the episode i did with Payne's toy samples and he uh showed off that shelf quite a bit so Go check those out. Um, and then that's going to lead us to the final shot of the week. And uh, it's just uh, the Masterverse too bad. Um, and then it's outside of Snake Mountain from the 2000X cartoon. Um, again, using a screen here. I really like this figure. Um, they like they kind of like... They have different heights to them, the different texture on their skin, um, and I got the toy in, and I was just like, let me take a picture of this guy, he's super cool. Um, so yeah, uh, there's this week, um, 
I mean, not the most exciting. Um, techno stuff was kind of cool. The other shots have been pretty basic. Uh, there's some fun shots coming up next week, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, I got some new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. It's slowly growing here. Um, you can check me out every day on Instagram and every weekend on YouTube. Um, Saturdays in Oz's Clubhouse on Ostradamus Toys. Uh, this Monday, I'll be on the Geek the F Out channel um, playing some games with Kayla and, and Oz and Ed from Axion Figs. Um, yeah, check it out. It'll be fun. You guys can play along in the um, audience. Um, but that's going to do it for this week. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next time.